All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about rounding decimals to a specific place value. So you need to make sure that you know your place values before you do the rounding video. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it correctly. So your goal is I can round decimals to a given place value. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you use rounding, um, there's a lot of different acronyms or poems or sayings that you can use to remember how to round. This is just one of them, but if you find one that works better for you, by all means use it as long as um, the terminology is accurate. So basically the rules are locate your number, that's your place value, look to the right, zero through four, stay on the floor, five through nine, climb to the sky. So again, locate your number. This is going to be your place value and I will tell you what this is. Look to the right, so you're going to look at the number on the right. If the number on the right is 0 through 4, then that number will stay the same. And if that number is 5 through 9, then this number will go up. So let's explain what that means. All right, so here we have the number 15 point, or sorry, 15 and 5,534 ten thousandths. So let's go ahead and roll the dice and we are going to round to the tenth place. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this number a little bit larger here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we locate our number. So we are going to the tenth place, which is right here. Okay, locate our number. Then we look to the right. This is the number that's to the right, okay? Now, when we look to the right, we cross out everything else, okay? Now, this number, 0 through 4, stay on the floor. 5 through 9, climb to the sky. So is this number right here 0 through 4, or is it 5 through 9? It's 5 through 9. So what happens is this number right here needs to go up one. So if five goes up one, it becomes six and everything goes away. So your answer is 15.6. And that's your final answer. Okay, let's do another example. All right, so let's spin the dice here. So this time we're going to round to the thousandths place. All right, and I'm gonna, again, I'm going to write this number a little bit bigger. All right, so we're rounding to the thousandths place. So locate our number, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Locate our number, look to the right, we cross everything else out, okay? Zero through four, we stay on the floor, five, through nine, we climb to the sky. So this is a five through nine, right? So we're gonna climb to the sky. So this two is going to become a three and goodbye to everything else. So our answer is four and 873 thousandths. All right, let's do another one. Okay, let's spin the dice. Okay, now we're gonna go, well, let's try a different one. We already did 10. Okay, good, 100th. We're gonna go to the 100th place. Okay, so let me write this guy a little bit bigger. Okay, so locate our number, tenths, hundredths, look to the right, zero through four, we stay on the floor, five through nine, we climb to the sky. So we got to cross out that guy. So this is a zero through four. So what that means is this eight is going to stay the same. So we cross out our circled number and our final answer is three, six, two, 
8, or 362, 362 and 8 hundredths. Okay, so when you're rounding, one of two things will happen. Okay, you locate your number, you look to the right. That number tells you what to do with the first number that you underlined. If it's 0 through 4, your underlined number is going to stay the same. If the circled number is 5 through 9, then your underlined number is going to go up 1. Okay, but everything else gets crossed out. All right, let's try this one here. All right, we have another hundredth. Okay. So, 4, 9, 1. Okay, here we go. Locate our number, tenths, hundredths. Look to the right. 0 through 4, stay on the floor. 5 through 9, climb to the sky. So this is a 5 through 9, okay? So this 7 needs to go up to an 8. So 4, 9, 1, point eight, eight. All right, let's do another one. Oh, we've done hundredth. Let's try another one. Oh my gosh, it wants us to do hundredth. Oh my gosh. Ooh, whole number. Okay, this is an interesting one. Okay, so round to the nearest whole number. Okay, so 0 0.4721. Okay locate our number. Well, when it says whole number, you need to go to the ones spot. That's the first number on the left-hand side of the decimal, okay? Look to the right. Zero through four, stay on the floor. Five through nine, climb to the sky, okay? Now that's a zero through four. So it's gonna stay on the floor. This guy's not gonna change. So this all goes away. And when we round to the nearest whole number, then on this one, our answer is zero. All right, let's do another one. Ooh, it really likes that hundredth. I'm trying to get a new one. Okay, let's do whole number on this one. Okay, so 92 and... 4,586 ten thousandths. Okay, now locate our number. So remember, we go to the one spot when it says whole number. Look to the right, zero through four, stay on the floor, five through nine, climb to the sky. Okay, so this is a zero through four again. Okay, so this guy is going to stay the same. Everybody goes goodbye, and the answer is 92. That's it. All right, so let's try some of these because rounding can be tricky. If you want to do them on your own, go ahead and mute me and do them on your own. If you think you need some extra help, I'm gonna continue to go through them, okay? So here we're gonna round them to the tenths place. So locate your number, here's the tenths place. Look to your right, okay? Zero through four, stay on the floor. I'm gonna write it up here. Five through nine, climb to the sky, okay? So this is a nine. This tells me that this four has to go up to a five and everything else goes away. So 45.5, 45 and five tenths. That's it, okay? Let's do the next one. Here we're going to round to the hundredths place. So locate your number, tenths, hundredths. Look to the right. So this is a five through nine. So we're going to go up one. So this eight needs to go up to a nine and everything else gets crossed out. So three and sixty nine hundredths. Okay. Let's look at this next one. We're gonna to go to the whole number here, which means that we go to the ones place. So we locate our number, we look to the 
right. The nine tells me I'm gonna go up again. So this six becomes a seven. Everything gets crossed out. Now remember, I'm going to the nearest whole number, so I'm not gonna have a decimal. So my answer is 137. Okay, here's a couple more. I'm gonna write the rules up here. Zero through four, stay on the floor. Five through nine, climb to the sky, okay? So here we have to the nearest ones place. That's also whole number. So locate your number, look to the right. So this is a five through nine. So we're gonna go up one. So this two is gonna become a three and everything gets crossed out. And because we're going to a whole number, there's no decimal in our answer. Here we're rounding to the 10 thousandths place. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 10 thousandths. Locate your number, look to the right. So zero through four, stay on the floor, five through nine, climb to the sky. So we gotta go up one. So this seven is gonna become an eight, cross out everything, four and 1,988 10 thousandths. All right, now here we're gonna round to the hundredths place. So we have tenths, hundredths, locate your number, look to the right. Now, this is a tricky one. And let me make this a little neater here because I kind of wrote it out. Locate your number, look to the right. Okay, so this nine tells me that I need to go, that, that this nine needs to go up. Well, what does nine go up to? 10, but 10 can't fit in one spot, okay? So it rolls over to the next number here. So this is a zero, so this zero is now going to become a one, okay? So let me explain that again. Locate your number, look to the right, okay? So this nine says that this nine needs to go up one, but after nine comes 10 and 10 can't fit in one single digit spot. So I roll over to the next spot and increase that number. This number right here is a zero. So that number goes up one, two, one, and everything gets crossed out. So my final answer is eight and one. All right, that is the end of rounding, and we will do much more practice in class.